In today's quick tip, let's just zoom in. Uh, what I want to look at is just a couple of different ways that you can move around the arrange window whilst the session is playing. So what I've got on this session, I've got a basic arrangement of the song on the top in the markers up here. So I've got intro, first verse, bridge, chorus, etc., etc. Say that I wanted to come in on the first chorus, and what I want to do is I just wanted to get the band to drop in like a new guitar part or something. If you've got a numpad on your keyboard, you can press the keys one or two, and that will let you move forward and backwards according to what the grid or the timeline is set to. So that, as you see, if I press one, I can go to the left of the project by one bar. If I press two, I can go to the right of the project by one bar. So that's quite nice and handy if I just want to go through. Um, that's one way of doing it. If I change the bars and beats to minutes and seconds, th this will then actually change it to moving forward and backwards by one one second. So you see we're at 7.52, press back with 7.51, but the actual, this section here doesn't actually change on the main counter. So bars and beats is probably the most useful for music and uh, just lets me kind of go through. So I'm gonna say what will tend to happen with producers, they'll have a set um, roll in or pre-roll before a session so it'd be like okay we're going to go to the first chorus um, I'm going to give you two bars and just play along to the song and I'll just drop you in. The other way is we could move and press on the markers themselves nice easy way of doing it. The other thing that we can look at doing is because I've got these markers set up if I press command and five it brings up this massive memory location I don't know why it's so big but it'll bring up a memory location um, in Pro Tools and what this will let me do as well is there's numbers next to each section so say I wanted to go to the turnaround after the first chorus which is number six I can click and type it or you know I can click on here and it'll actually you can see that the playheads moving around the session the other thing that we can do is is something coming from tape machines already where we can actually tell Pro Tools that I want to load the position of I'm going to say with a turnaround so I'm going to load position six so I type on the numpad full stop six full stop and this will work for everything so say I want to go to the start I could go to counting so full stop one full stop and we're gone there um, if I want to go to the solo, for another example, full, full stop, 11, full stop, and we're there. Um, and this, I think, will work as well. So say I'm playing the track. As I'm playing this track, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play a bit, and I'm going to, for whatever reason, say I might want to go and listen. If I'm mixing, I might want to go back to the first verse and hear that. So I can press play. I'll press load the marker for the first verse and see if that works. So the other thing that happens is because the playhead's actually playing, I, as soon as I do the full stop, number full stop on the marker, it'll actually just take the playhead there and it'll carry on playing. So I don't actually have to stop and move around. So it's, it can be useful for just if you want to move around a session quickly while you're mixing or you've got a thought process going on. Like, he's going on a, like the bass mix or something. No one really cares about the bass, but let's not say anything about that. Um, say I've got like, um, we're listening to a song, say, so okay, I want to listen to this balance now, this section in, or this part in a different section. You can easily do that without having to start press space and then move around, and it's a bit of a pain. So that's another way. So we've got the numpad, one, two. We have marker locations, which is full stop, numpad, number, full stop. So I'm going to go again, just, just to reiterate this point, full stop, 11, full stop. I'm going to go to the end of the outro chorus, full stop, 12, full stop. I'm going to go back two bars, drop in. The final thing that I want to look at as well on this is because I've got the bars at the top of the section, I might be able, what I can also do is I can actually press on the numpad equals and say I wanted to go to the first chorus, which I think is 30. I type in 30 and you'll notice over here the, this is actually kind, this is actually being highlighted. So I type in 30 and this will take me to bar 30, beat one when I press enter on the numpad. This will again work when we're on playback, so I can press play, and I can just literally just cycle around. And press space bar again. So that's another way of doing it. So we have one and two. We can do memory locations, five, six, seven, 10. And uh, we can do the equals bar 105. 
enter. So there's a couple of different ways. Um, if you like the videos, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Any questions, any requests, give me a shout by all means. And I've also set up a form on the YouTube page. If you look in the comments, there's a um, feature request or like a video request, you can send me a link or an email and I'll look into it. And I've done a couple which are in the process of being uploaded where I've broken down videos and tutorial stuff. So let me know, let me th know what you think. Love to hear from you and I'll see you all again next time.